Hi uh, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all smashing it. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a back box delete on the BMW E91 330D Stage 1 maps. DPF 3 inch delete, um, swirl flap delete, EGR delete. Um, we've got a pipe cross filter on it. If you watch the previous videos, you'll see what we've actually been doing to it. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to try and get one of these back boxes fitted on it. Now I've got this one, which I quite like, brand new. Uh, now this has got twin three inch slash cut on it. Um, so obviously fitting this on, it's going to be quite a bit more free flowing. Don't know what it's going to sound like. Uh, obviously it's a diesel, not expecting it to sound great, but we'll, we'll see. The only issue with fitting this one um, is I'm going to have to basically modify um, the standard like rear lower uh, balance because that is wider than your standard exhaust now I do also have uh, the exhaust which was on originally on the E30 now this as you can tell I like the slash cut this is a twin two and a half inch slash cut now they're quite a bit narrower um, and this one will go on without doing any modification so I think the biggest issue I've got really um, is with these, they don't really do like an off the shelf uh, back box delete. Uh, basically, because your exhaust from your downpipe through to your back box is all one complete section, and there's a bit of a annoying kind of dog leg where the exhaust goes into one side of the back box, and obviously comes out the other side at the back. So it's a bit tricky, but I think I've come up with a solution now. I don't really want to pay somebody to do this because I've got a welder. I like messing with cars, so I'm going to do it myself. Now, my solution to this is basically this. So I've got two 90 dairy bends. I've had to shave one back. Uh, these are going to get welded onto, I think this is a 15 degree bend. I'll double check. I'll put everything in the comments of exactly what I've used. And that's basically going to fit on the back of the section of the exhaust I've cut, which is going to go like that. And then you've got this little dog leg because you've got one of the rear subframe mounts here. And then the back box is going to go onto there. Then all I need to do is figure out how I'm going to mount it onto the original mounts. But I think that's going to work. You won't know until we cut the old one off. So I think I'll start the car. You can see what it sounds like. We'll get it jacked up. Get the old back box cut off and we'll crack on with it. Right, so now we've nicely got the car jacked up, uh, plenty of space to work underneath. I'll show you exactly what I'm planning on doing. So if you look underneath here, you can see the exhaust it comes down from the back. Um, you've got a little bit of a dog leg, then it goes into the back box there, which is about here on the back bumper. And obviously you've got the exhaust with the tips which come out here. Now you've got a bracket up here that, that uh, mounts the rear exhaust and there's one just on the other side just about there so we're gonna have to fabricate some up with that <coughs> but the plan is is to use that little dog leg of exhaust that I've got that'll fit onto this and bring the exhaust out nice so I think the first thing to do is to get this cut off um, we'll cut it somewhere down here on that little straight section uh, that'll allow us to obviously refit it if we want to. Um, this is the offending item that we need to uh, clear those bits of pipe. And we'll see if we can get the other exhaust fitted 
So this is the old lump of a bat box that was on the car. Um, now obviously I've cut it along there so I can actually basically use a joining piece and slide it all back together and refit this if I need to. Um, I'm gonna try and get this exhaust on because I really like it. The only issue is I'm gonna have to mark up on here and just cut a section out here uh, just so it fits in. Um, this is the mock-up um, of the section I'm making. Obviously the exhaust will fit onto that. And then you've got your, your bends and then where it fits onto the standard exhaust. So I'm gonna do a bit of fiddling, uh, get this bit cut out. And then we'll just get this mocked up on a jack and check we've got everything in the right place. So we've cut the bumper out and this is roughly the look I'm going for. Obviously that cut needs to be uh, tidied up a bit, but this is roughly what it's going to look like, I think. Um, it might be a little bit too large, but we're going to see what it's like when it's on. Um, obviously going underneath, let's have a quick look. This is basically the difference I'm going to have to make up. So this is going to need shortening um, so I can get that to line up with that mock it all up and then all I need to do is worry about how I'm going to support it at the top but we're getting there so I'm going to do a bit more cutting um, but oh, excuse the camera angle looks quite sporty it's a lot bigger than the uh, the standard now I am going to have it sticking out a little tiny bit uh, possibly not that much but obviously these tailpipes aren't staggered like on your uh, your standard one so I think the main goal is is to get this one fitting right and if I need to I can always cut that but a bit apprehensive to do it so we'll see what happens do a bit more cutting and see if I can actually get it all lined up so with this one I've measured it up with the calipers it's roughly 90 foot 5 mil I think it's about 94 mil I need to cut out of this section so obviously they both butt up and I'm going to have to divvy it between the two because obviously this is a curve and there's a curve here. So I'm going to use this little section which fits over both. Um, now obviously I can tack it, grind it back and then probably slide this over just to give it a bit more strength. But we'll see. I think the main thing is I'll get these cut out and then we'll see if this will all actually line up. Been doing a bit of cutting, a bit of welding. But the tailpipe's on, it's in roughly the right position. Obviously that needs cutting properly, but that tailpipe's level. Now if we look underneath, obviously we've got our section here, excuse the welds, that's pretty much all welded up. It's not lower than the diff, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the actual angle of it all isn't too bad. So. Now all I need to do is figure out how I'm going to mount this, well, get this fitting so it stays in position. But it's not looking too bad. I'm reasonably happy with that. I can actually take it off at the minute because there's going to be an exhaust clamp, um, which is in the centre section just behind the clamp there. That's not been welded, so it can be taken off if needed. Uh, and the standard exhaust put back on if I really want. So I'm gonna try and figure out that top bracket um, and then we'll show you it off the car. So just so you can see exactly what we've done. Right, this is the stage we're at so far. Obviously I've got the back pipe on. That's all, excuse the welds, all on. It's not too bad a, a flow, obviously. Would have been better if it wasn't 90 but that's what we're working with so obviously i need to weld all this section up but that's all nice and solid so the next issue we've got is basically trying to mount this um onto the original mounts which are under the car so for this uh, i have actually got some 12 mil stainless um so i'm just going to try and knock up a little bit of a bracket uh, probably gonna have to weld it to the actual exhaust itself uh, and that's going to mount it now obviously where it joins 
there's going to be a clamp here um, I've got a nice substantial clamp which is one of these ones I've got normal exhaust clamps and everything but I think I'm going to go with that uh, and then we can drop it all down see what it sounds like and go for a bit of a drive here we go so the exhaust is fully fitted as you can see it's fitting pretty nice obviously i'm going to need to uh, sort out the rear valance because there's a few bits i'm not happy with if i wobble that that's nice and solid not going anywhere so let's have a look underneath excuse the camera so this is basically what we've done uh, we've had to do a, a brace across the top so a brace from both the original mounts i put this piece in and then come across welded it through to the exhaust that's nice and solid going to the back that's all welded 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 excuse the welds we've got a clamp here which holds it onto the back section and then it finishes off goes back into the uh, standard exhaust now that is literally diff level so the exhaust fits nicely now oh, excuse this but yeah that's it from the back i'm reasonably happy with it it sticks out a little bit i was expecting it to do that may stage the uh the slash cut on them but not a bad bit of fitment so i'm gonna drop this down uh this is all i'm doing for today Right, we're just going to go for a little drive in the car, see if it sounds any different. So we'll give it a start. Let's get the window down. Now, I don't know whether this will translate on the camera. We'll just see if you can actually hear it. Uh, obviously, I have been out this morning with Steve on the morning dog walk. To be fair, I don't know how happy I am with it. Um, it's not a bad noise. Let's see if you can hear this. As you can see, it is. It's quite a bit louder. To be fair, I didn't really mind the standard exhaust noise. It's just, I always like to try and put a back box on the car and with it being a diesel, I'm wondering whether I should have left it or maybe I should go for a, a smaller outlet maybe the three inches twin threes just a bit bit too big but when well, that's just normal driving let me just put this down it doesn't sound too bad to be fair but I've also noticed there's a little bit more smoke coming out the back of it um, now I think that might be the what's in the crankcase vent ccd so i think i'm gonna to have to do that in another video um something i'd be i should have done it when i took the inlet off but it's something that needs doing so we'll see if that kind of quietens it down a bit but yeah i mean normal driving i'll, I'll put the window up so you've not got the uh, the outside noise i mean normal driving can tell there's an exhaust on it um, I don't know what do you guys think um, obviously it's probably gonna stay on I can always put the standard back box on uh, but I don't know whether 
as I say, I'm, you know, I'm getting older and I quite like the, the standard exhaust didn't sound too bad in all fairness. Like it wasn't loud. Uh, you had a bit more of a turbo noise and it stuff. And it kind of, it was like a, just a subtle noise. You could tell there was a bit of power there uh, and it wasn't in your face, but I don't know whether this is just, just taking it a little bit too far. So let's go around this roundabout. Oh, no, there's somebody crossing. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Is it is it a bit too much for the car? I mean, it is only a diesel, isn't it? Does it need a, a big exhaust? I mean, secretly, I was hoping it didn't really give it much more noise, but it, it has given it quite a bit. So, like, obviously, I'm in second now. If I just hold back, you can't really hear it. But if I just, just put my foot down... You can hear that. It is uh, it is a bit more noise. I'll have to see what it's like on a motorway to be fair. Um I'm reasonably happy about it. I'll probably do another video actually and I'll um I'll try and gauge Martin's reaction. Um possibly do like a drive by or something like that. But yeah, what do you guys think? Hit us up in the comments. As always, I hope you like the video. I know we didn't go into too much depth with regards to fitting it. Um, oh, the, the actual bend that I used was a 30 degree bend um, and then obviously I used two tight 90 dairy bends. All the pipe work is two and a half inch, um, that's about it on the fitment so yeah, hit that like and subscribe button, we'll catch you in the next video, hopefully I'll be doing a bit more engine work and not silly exhaust mods, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, catch you later.